there's a lot of sign right in here. It's a, I'm seeing coon tracks and then uh, it looks like uh, some otter and some beaver been back in here, but this water dropping so quick. But I still got a shot at maybe catching one or two beaver, maybe some stragglers that they're going to move out to this main lake. But uh, I can pick up some of these coon and these otter may hang back. There's a few little pockets of water back in here. I know a couple years ago I caught a coon on this creek and I caught a gray fox up on that ridge. So there's several places I can set up in here. This looks pretty good. I was sitting here at the campfire and uh, I had a fox came within about 10 steps. He circled the camp fire, came right up to me, circled the fire, went over to the back of the truck, went straight to my backpack where I got my lure, and stood at the back of the truck and then trotted off. I've never seen that before. I couldn't tell if it was a red uh, fox or a, uh, or a gray fox. It had a long bushy tail though. And it come, I heard it first and then I saw it right outside the camp there, or right outside the fire. He started walking closer, walked around me and went right over to the edge of the truck. Stood there right beside where I got my lure and my backpack and then he took on off. Some days you just come in feeling like you know something's going to happen. This is one of those days, it's just a light drizzle and a kind of soupy, foggy day. I came in and uh, I got a cubby down here on the end of this log. Somehow I know <laughs> whatever came in and worked this set has jammed this stick down in this trap on Chucky. check. First check this set had been worked. That trap was uncovered. And uh, I think yesterday nothing happened and today something come in here obviously and worked this but I still gotta go check my beaver sets. thing in my sets but came down here on this ditch and it was a doe I don't know 45 yards ahead of me she jumped over in that grass and snorted went over the edge of that buck brush and stopped and turned around I just jumped her up again I don't know if I got that on camera or not I could hear it. saw that flag running off in the bushes over there It's the first run since uh, starting back. I took one day off just to kind of recuperate, go to church, and uh, start back fresh. Start fresh on Monday. This is the first run. I got 16 snares on this ditch. Only one of them got knocked down. So, But I see air bubbles in this creek. I mean, they're coming close to these snares. I'm just barely missing them. I got a double snare under this log. I'm going to show you. 
but uh, and I got this thing fenced off pretty heavy but I may need to go ahead and cover on that low end of that log they may be going over the top instead of going under so I'm going to show you now I may drop one more snare in there just to make sure I got that covered but it, it's not very cold it got only got down to about 45 last night so we need to get some cold weather maybe something will happen but something moved in this creek because I mean there's air bubbles all over I'm going to show you now See, I got a pole, a snare on either side of that pole in the deepest part of the middle of this channel where they're going under this log. But on that low end over there, it could, they could be crossing over the top, so I'll probably maybe block that a little bit better and then uh, add one more snare there. Just wait on some weather and <laughs> we'll see what happens. But I got this creek covered pretty pretty thorough. It didn't look like anything moved down there by that lodge. The main lodge where all the I'm seeing all the peel sticks at, but this could be an otter or could be some muskrat in here. Something making all these air bubbles. <laughs> but I just gotta wait them out. Over and out. There's so many logs out here and roots when you got I got several snares out up and down this ditch and everything looks like an otter or a beaver <laughs> every root every log from a distance you thinking you got a catch and I ran my whole circuit right down to the last uh, snare here and I I couldn't see I had anything from the other side of this creek but when I looped around uh, it looked like something had pulled the snare loose. So we're going to go down here and see what we got. A small coon here he tied off on these roots right here and he it looked like a pullout where these beavers been coming up getting that grass going back and packing their lodges but I'm gonna get this coon out of here he's tied up he's tangled up in these roots pretty bad <laughs> 